What's up everyone? Welcome back. I'm Ovix and today we're continuing Bloodborne. On the last episode we finished the Cursed, Defiled, Tomero Chalice, whatever the name is. Today we're gonna push forward and do the last Tomero Chalice, the Tomero Eel. So let's just get going. For the record, it has been over a month since I last played, so I have no idea how this is gonna play out. As I'll have to face some bosses. That's gonna be interesting. I am so afraid that I'm gonna get rusty and die easily. Motherfucker! Oh. Motherfucker. Why do they have so much health? Do you see the amount of attacks that I took to kill a basic enemy? I am so not ready for the bosses, dude. Mm -mm. I, was, I was trying to convince myself like, okay, it's been a while, but... It probably won't take that long. I already know the bosses. Might take a couple hours, I don't know. Nah, but... If the, these fuckers have so much health... The bosses are gonna be... A pain, dude. Where's the trap? There we go. Oh. oh, that's a lot of damage. Nice. Did it take a while? Yes. But was it smart? Also yes. I'm actually surprised that I wasn't caught by any guillotine so far. Really surprised by that. Yo, buddy. <laughs> I thought it was a pistol. It caught me off guard to see him running towards me. <laughs> yeah, this you see this thing right there's some buggers here with the lamps that light up when you go across it so that you remember the path you already came through but there's no wall there's there's a wall there's no passage i just realized why i was dealing such a less such a small amount of damage i forgot that the last time that i played because it was over a month ago I checked my gems to see what would deal more damage and then I just removed all of them, I don't know why. I totally forgot to equip them back. And so, yeah. I think I removed them because I, I was thinking that I could already farm better blood gems. But I gotta beat this dungeon first to reach the, dun the gems that I want. <laughs> so yeah, I cleaned the gems off the weapon. And therefore I was dealing way less damage and I didn't understand why. So yeah, funny. Might as well just set it up quickly. I'm really happy that I came to check this, otherwise I would have been screwed. Imagine facing the bosses without gems equipped. Alright, let's give this bad boy a spin just to test it out. See if the weapon deals more damage now. Hmm. I was actually hoping that I would kill them much quicker. I guess we'll go for the first boss now. You! You already!
What is going on with the sound though? The music is really low. I didn't even try because I was wondering why the sound was off. There is such a small amount of damage, but okay. <laughs> I'm still... I'm still not taking it too seriously. I'm trying to get the hang of the parry first. Oh, this is awesome. No! Alright, I think I'll stop recording for now because I'm still getting the hang of it and this is a boss that I've already faced before. Once I feel like I'm doing better, I'll record again. If I manage to defeat him while I'm not recording, I'll just include the clip and I'll apologize in advance for that. Hmm. <laughs> 
What's up everyone? I'm back. This time with Face and with Mike. Yes, it's still me. I'm still the one playing the game. And we are about to defeat Yarnum. Or face Yarnum. I don't know if I'll defeat her today. But it's the last boss on the dungeons. We are really close to finally being done with this part. And I'll finally be able to farm blood gems and upgrade my damage. And to celebrate this milestone, I want to introduce to you all this thing that is gonna pop up on the left or your right sorry that's right oh yeah i am gonna put a kill count or death count from now on it's something that i thought of implementing from the very get-go from the very beginning since i started this series i thought of doing it but since i was still learning the ropes with all the youtube thing I didn't think it would be necessary since it's also a game that I already played and being blood level 4, I die a shit ton of times to the enemies. But you know what? It's fun, it's another spice to the playthrough and I think it makes all sense to start doing it from here. So, let's face Yarnum, Yarnham and see how it goes. I don't know why, but the music is bugging again. Okay. It's playing, I know. Okay. I think... I don't know why, but I have the recollection that Yarnum is actually not that hard. But the thing is, I have a very small amount of health, so... I want to be cautious and try to figure out her attacks for now. So far, it's just these three, three attacks. Okay. Here. <laughs> well, and now, ladies and gentlemen, let's flick the number. One. Oh. Oh, the cry stuns me. I forgot about that, okay. Oh! The delay. Oh! Oh shit! Oh fuck 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 oh. fuck! I thought I could dodge it by running. Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh! I can bury you! Oh, this is great news. Fuck. Bitch. Fuck, 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 fuck. No, no, no. How did I survive that? Oh, shit. What? Oh, come on. I feel like I'm getting the hang of it and I'm dying in such stupid ways. This is very frustrating, dude. No! 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 Oh, bro, come on! That's so unfair. I dodged it. I was doing so well because I didn't use a blood vial so far. Shit. Come on! As you can fucking imagine, I have no words that I died like, right? I don't even know how to speak right now. Oh, dude. You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Motherfucker, I dodged! You're kidding me.
I got it. I fucking did it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Wait, 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 wait. Holy shit. Whoa. <laughs> oh. I'm done. I'm fucking done with the dungeons, dude. I fucking did it after... I don't know how many attempts, it might be 80, because I started counting midway. So I'll have to add up the number of the previous ones, of the first ones. Oh, dude. I... <laughs> I thought it would take less time. I thought it was gonna take less time. Because it's not a hard boss. I mean, you can see I didn't use any blood vials almost. For most, for half of the fight, I didn't touch a blood vial. Oh, dude. That, that last minute when I hit her in so many times in a row. And I still didn't kill her by one hit. I was so afraid that she was gonna show up and hit me and I would have to repeat the fight. Oh, dude. Thank God there's a fucking pistol in this game. Really, the pistol has saved my ass. <sighs> That's it! That's it for this episode! So, now that i finally defeated Yarnum, I have access to all the dungeons, I'll finally be able to farm blood gems and upgrade my damage. And that's something I'll do off camera. I don't know if I'll face these chalice as well. I'm done with the dungeons, dude, to be honest. I don't think I have the, the will to do... To do so and i also have the dark beast pearl to defeat in the lower lauren oh dude i am very happy all right guys i hope you enjoyed this episode i hope you enjoyed the little addition of the kill count or death count i think it's gonna be a really fun touch and i'll have to figure out how i'll edit it but yeah that's it, finally, for the dungeons. After this, I don't even remember where I left off on the story. But I think we'll go to the DLC. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because after this, either I go back to the Nightmare and face Murgo and finish the game. Or I go to the DLC, so... Next episode is the fucking DLC. Oh, I'm excited for that. Oh, I'm gonna die so many times. <laughs> but before that, I'll farm blood gems on my own off camera and improve the damage of my weapon. By the way, if there's any doubts, yes, I'm still blood level 4. These are my stats. These are the runes that I used. The gems that I have equipped on the weapon oh, are these ones. Oh, wait. Just physical damage. Because I know it's tradition that when you, do, when you do the blood level 4, you show up your stats at the end. I'm just doing this for fun, dude. It's a, a little game of trust, but like, I don't have anything to prove to anyone. This is my first game on the channel. And I'm just doing this for myself and for fun. Uh, I don't plan on cheating. I'm keeping up my word. There were many times that I thought of equipping the runes that gave me more stamina or health, but in the end it doesn't make much difference. And it's all a matter of skill. It's all a matter of improving my skill. And I am very proud that I pushed through after so many times of thinking I was going to quit the run and just do a normal run, level up my character, get better weapons. I pushed through, I persisted, I defeated all the bosses in the fucking dungeons after so much torture. This is fucking unbelievable. I am very happy. I'm just, I'm just rambling. I'm just, I'm saying nothing right now at this point. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you really enjoyed this episode. On the next one, we're going to the DLC. So that's very exciting. All right. Catch you guys on the next episode. Take care.